When Utah joined the nation as a state in 1895, legislator Franklin S. Richards said that the work done in Utah on behalf of women would prove to be the brightest and purest ray of Utah's glorious star, lifting its sister states upward and onward to the higher plane of civilization and the fuller measure of civil and religious liberty. Have we done justice? to the vision of our state's founders by continuing to make Utah a place that's dedicated to the advancement of women? Sadly, the answer is no. But knowing that the early members of our community cared so deeply about the emancipation and development of women here gives us a legacy we need to do a better job of honoring. They've given us a precedent for making Utah a place dedicated to women's advocacy. They've forged it into our DNA. They've shown us the way. They've given us permission to make Utah that place once again.